All right, what you're seeing is my prototyping board, and you have eight LEDs counting in binary at the same time that the, the LCD display is displaying uh, decimal, octal, and hexadecimal. Oh, it stopped because it went up to 255. That's what the program was designed for. Let me start it again real quick. And there's your count in binary. The three connectors that you see here are from the breakout board. This includes the eight uh, output lines. This here is four uh, or five input lines, and these are an additional four output lines. They're what's driving the LCD display below. If I move it up a little more, you will see the cable that I made to plug into a DB25 cable that runs from the printer port. Uh, you can buy all kinds of versions of these off eBay and the cables are inexpensive. Let's go back down and center it a little more. Let's back out. Let's see the whole setup. Again, LCD display. Binary count on 8 LEDs interface cable, breakout boards, and it uses an external 5 volt supply. The printer port will not supply voltage. It will drive LEDs, certainly because they are at TTL digital logic level, but they won't supply power to operate the LCD display. Alright, let's look at how I came up with this and what you can do with it. What you're seeing here, now I know you've seen this before in my other videos, this is my serial LCD display board. As you can see here, uh, let's zoom in just a little bit closer. It's counting in decimal, octal, and hexadecimal, but this time it is connected to a PC printer port. That's right, we're going to be using the PC printer port. Uh, to control electronics. This is done all the time. For instance, a lot of C, uh, stuff for CNC machines uses the IBM PC printer port. I will show you how to connect electronics to it, make your own breakout board, and how to program it and get it up and running. 